Keep the start of the game for the Rough Riders. Early movement, and this play doesn't get off. Usually there's a lot more of this. You see three or four offsides in the first couple of games of the season, especially with only two preseason games. Procedure, Saskatchewan, number 64. Half the distance to the goal remains first down. But Timer, hold the clock to the snap. This compounds what just happened with the return from Dominic Dorsey that was cut off by Avon Coburn. Now the penalty. And the Riders in the shadow of their own goal post. The all-star right tackle, Dan Goodspeed, acquired from Hamilton. Uh, in a dangerous area and he avoids the sack I want to show you people always are looking at this Montreal Alouette team and saying why is this team as good as it is this team is as good as it is because the great cup outstanding player Avon Coburn who is their starting tailback will do things like this on the special teams number six covers he sees there's no contain man Dominic Dorsey's going to take it out he flashes to his left to cut him off and that limits the game you come down that with the penalty and look what's happening now That's second and 16 from a rough rider two Durant anybody open he's hit by Cox and the ball falls incomplete Chip Cox again in the face of Darian Durant and the Riders are looking at giving up two points to the safety at the very worst, and that worst because Eric Wilson is trying to track that football down. Darian Durant, his issue here is that he's rolling to his left side, and when he's rolling to his left side, eventually he's got to get his body around to make the throw he wants to make and doesn't have time to do it because Chip Cox is closing in. Just has to be careful not to go to the head of the quarterback, but other than that, a clean hit. Got a challenge from the Alouettes, who are going to ask if that was not an incompletion, but a fumble picked up in the end zone by Eric Wilson. Whether or not his arm was going forward is the question. And our first challenge of the new season has big implications. That's that is a lot closer than it looked live. Yeah, I think that's a that's a terrific Montreal bid. Absolutely, because it looked like the ball came out of his hands just prior to the forward motion of Darian Durant's Montreal arm. Montreal is challenging the ruling on the field of an incomplete forward pass. Boy, that will be close. Now, the ruling was... And there's big Eric Wilson getting on the football. The ruling was incompletion, so we'll have to have enough evidence to overturn it, but that was two pretty good looks right there. But did that ball... His arm went forward with the ball flying through the air. The question is, did that ball come out just before Darian Durant's right arm started to move in a forward motion? Ball is up now. Then the hand comes forward. It might not. After review, the ruling on the field stands. It's an incomplete forward pass. It'll be third down. So they are ruling that it was just Durant early. was starting the forward motion. That was close, and uh, I think maybe the operative word is it had to be uh, definitive. Just barely. A few inches of forward motion. Saw it a little better from that angle. Didn't take long. And quickly, Sakota concedes the safety, and it's now a 16-point lead for the Alouettes. For the long haul, a whole new season of American Loggers continues Monday at 10 Eastern on Discovery Channel. I prefer Canadian logger on Canada Day myself. <laughs> now it's been a long afternoon for Darian Durant. That was a close call. That was a close one. But, you know, you got to like the ruling in that it had to be, in order to be overturned, there had, had 
to be indisputable evidence, and there was. In other words, if that's ruled a fumble, it probably would have stood as. Sakota blasts it down. Oh, oh. the field position you normally get out of a safety in the kickoff thanks to the misplay by Maypray and a pretty good downfield hustle by Daniel Francis. Yeah, and get the blooper tape ready. All right, this one's going to make it. This this makes the Christmas party. But what, he does recover. Excuse me, Glenn. One of the bets for the Alouettes yesterday said, you know, it's a tough spot for a rookie to be a return man in his first game of the CFL here at Mosaic with the wind and the crowd. He's had a couple, though, where he's lined up a little shallow and then had to back up and try and get the ball. What he should do is get himself a little bit deeper so he's moving forward to, to catch that ball in flight. Back to work, and into Brockton, who dropped one into the hands of a defender on the first play of the game, has his second drop of the afternoon. Yeah, second one, and, and for the record, so receivers in the league understand is that we will be tracking this year as a crew for more the quarterbacks stats than anything drops like that from receivers so if you look at Anthony Calvillo's numbers tonight he will have two of the incompletions that will drop fans of Mosaic tell you this is a big defensive play for their team And they don't get the playoff. Time count violation, Montreal number 13. Five yard penalty, remains second down. Chalk one up for the 13th man. Oh, yeah. This is the team. They sat and have a procedure call or a time count. pressure and the idea here now is if the riders are looking to try and get more pressure like Ken Miller mentioned they're going to try and do it just to the right of your screen you're going to see Sean Lucas the linebacker flash there he is they're going to start to send pressure there some linebackers up the middle Brent Hawkins finally got some penetration so it looks like the riders are now trying to find the answer by sending some blitz pressure from the linebackers but that was a big play they should get very good field position here Like that surprises. Maybe they had figured they've got two in the bank, and oh, yeah. it now is a 14-point game again. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's what Mark Tressman thought. You know, the Riders just gave up the safety, got the field position back. He felt the momentum swing there with the defensive stand and the two and out. The returner slipping. Now you've got let, let's stop it all. Get the field position. Get our defense a second to regroup, kick off, and and play from there. I, you know, I like the decision because. Guaranteed, he trusts his punt cover team and his kicker when he's standing right on the goal line. You need to be deeper than that to usually give up a safety. But this had everything to do with momentum. Kicking the ball into the wind. Dorsey was awaiting at midfield, but uh, Mark Dressman opts for the safety, and so it's 26-12. I'm not sure about that decision to not kick a field goal at the end of the half, but I, I really like that one. off from the 25. They've been kicking away from Dominic Dorsey. They try and stack to see if they can get the ball to Dorsey, the riders, but Duvall's done a nice job of watching it and going the opposite way. From the 25, they may have to let this one fly. And yeah, that's not a deep kick. Gets up the grabs, and uh, it's out of bounds at the rider pitch. Kick was out of bounds, and uh, Saskatchewan will enjoy good field position just beyond their 45. That was close, and the Riders 
Trying to get up there underneath that one because that was a live ball. When kickoff, it has to pass that 10-yard mark, and then it is live. Looked like Shea Emery close as was Chip Cox. Illegal kickoff. Number 15, Montreal. That penalty is declined. First down, Saskatchewan. So the ball marked close to the Saskatchewan 50-yard line. I think Damon, the ball just mishit that. He's trying to kick it away from Dorsey. It looked like he was just not lined up properly to kick that one deep. Gates. And a good run to midfield. And across, Diamond Ferry, the tackle. And that Mark Tressman decision, Chris, you can consider what has happened and transpired since then. It really is a difference of about 30, 35 yards of field position and where the riders are starting this drive. So he's given his defense a chance and given the riders back that two points that they gave up on their safety. West Cates, seven carries, 66 in the game. Second and five, six receiver. Saskatchewan was going to try and go out and test Stanford Samuels at the wide side corner position, a newcomer to the Alouette secondary. And this time he's lined up over Rob Bag, and they do go after him a little bit. He gets a little deep, falls off the receiver, and that creates some space. Got behind him once earlier with the overthrow from Durant. 19 on the play. First down. Look out! Billy Parker was in the vicinity. Well, Billy Parker had his eyes on that goal line. These two halfbacks really, from last year, stepped up their game. And watch the read here as Parker just sits back, plants, and steps up. And he is a stride away from seeing the Billy Parker touchdown dance. Both had interceptions. Brown and Parker last year in the Great Cup game. Ben Cahoon said that was the biggest upgrade on our team a year ago. Blitz, Durant got it away, and it's knocked down. Gets lap was well covered by Jim Cox. And just to finish the thought on Cahoon, he also said the two rookie DBs last year and Chip Cox moving to the linebacker spot. And this is what Chip Cox can do, because as long as they were sure you see that Durant's got to step up. He gets pressure from Shea Emery off the edge, so that turns the timing into advantage defense. Now Chip Cox, he can come out there and cover. He's a former defensive back converted last year. Their question was, could he play the run? He showed he could do that, and now what a weapon they have on defense. Look, the Kanji checks in, and he'll survey a 43-yarder. And Kanji has missed. Maypray's going to bring it out. Tim Maypray. Look out. Kanji going to catch him? No. He's a rookie. He made a mistake just a few moments ago. But Tim Maypray has gone all the way for an Alouette touchdown. Maypray. 122 yards maybe not a bad idea to break the rookie in here yeah and he's gonna take some flack for one return in the meeting room and then he'll say just wait fellas because there's another one coming out and look at the seam that opens up for him down that sideline and as he gets that seam now he's trying to find the kicker and luka kanji where is he where he's there he is cut inside of him right there now it's a foot see ya wouldn't want to be ya. One hundred twenty two yard miss field goal return for a touchdown and suddenly the absence of Larry Taylor doesn't hurt as much one twenty two but what I love about it is that in the film room he's going to be sitting there and the guys are going to have a good laugh and he's going to have the last that he's going to know hey just wait a couple plays give me a couple plays watch this one three touchdown lead for the Jets. every day 
In order to get a seam like that, you need a couple of blocks. I want to show you one here from Diamond Ferry, the Montreal Alouettes linebacker on the special teams on Mike McCullough. There's the kickout block. Now he's created a little bit of seam down the sideline. One more guy maybe has a chance. Keith Shulligan right. Can he come across and cut him off? Well, Stanford Samuels, the corner on the special teams, doesn't have to get much of him just in his way. And that opens up the running line. Ten-point swing. A missed field goal for Saskatchewan, a touchdown, and Stu Ford trying to reply. The local product, here's the Stews as he brings it up to the 48. Larry Taylor had three kick return touchdowns a year ago, and here in the CFL debut of Tim Maypre, he celebrates his first. That's where the Riders will start first and He's on a little bit of a roller coaster of emotion. May pray when he fell on the first a kick a couple plays earlier and then took one 122. He was recommended to the Alouettes by his college coach Winston October who took a few back himself. Mm -hmm. 